So today we have a relatively short video for a couple of reasons, but we're actually completing the Albino Grand Slam today with the Ibex here on Quattro Colinas, as I found in Albino Southeastern Ibex uh, just yesterday. But basically this started on the release day of the map. We killed an Albino Ronda and Albino Grados on stream. Now, the Albino Grados was on Twitch, so unfortunately I don't have video of that, but that's alright. We have enough Albinos to pretty much just pretend one of them is a Grados, but waiting for this level 2, finally he goes broadside, and of course he turns around right away again. But I just decided to take the frontal shot, and Lung was good enough, but I actually wanted to do something special for New Year's this year, because I've done that in the past, but I wasn't entirely sure what to do, and then I decided on doing something actually completely different than anything I've done. So today over on the Meat Hunters channel, my rifle season video just dropped uh, about three hours ago if you're watching this when this video comes out. So if you want to see what I've been kind of keeping a secret for the better part of the last month, you can go check that out. The link is actually below this video and I will link the channel as well on the end screen of this video. So yeah, uh, that's a little bit of a special New Year's thing that I got going on, and that's the other reason this video is going to be a little bit short, because uh, anybody that's going to try to watch the rest of this video before then might possibly be anticipating something, so we'll leave it at that. But yeah, decent little southeastern. I mean, most of them look small anyway, so for him to be a level 2 isn't really a big deal, although some of the 2s actually do end up looking rather big, but that was cool to run into. Uh, and I said the Albino Grados I don't have video of because it happened on Twitch and I don't save those broadcasts for a couple of reasons, but literally, like, less than an hour later, I ran into another Albino Southeastern, and we can just pretend this is the Grados because I don't have any actual video of that. But this guy actually is a little bigger, which is nice. He's a decent three, and he just happens to have the right shape in his horns where for a second I thought he might have been really big, but either way... We got another one, he's actually bigger, it's going to look better on the multi-mount, and somehow, because I had all the others before killing these southeasterns, the multi-mount is complete for an albino grand slam before I got a diamond grand slam, which I didn't really expect, but I still have the other uh, two species of albinos that I do have on video for this still, but just quickly we'll claim him, and he's got a little bit of a unique true rack to him, which is cool. He's already albino, get a little bit of uh, character to his horns. I like that, but we'll take a look at the other albinos we have for the multi-mount. I was a little bit off too, but I also did it in my head. Oi! That's an albino. Uh, so they don't seem to be that uncommon, as far as I can tell. Thought that was bigger than a three. Yoink! So we got a really nifty looking Shurak and an albino. Pretty cool, it's just a silver, but we take those. This map, check that out. There's two albino bathides pretty much side by side. And that one's a four, so I kind of want to make sure I get that one. The angle is not good, but I think he almost looks alert. And I'm a little worried about him kind of just running off. So, I probably should zero for 300. The thing is, like, his head's covering the spot that I'd want to aim. He did turn it away for a second, so... Get that in there while he's actually not looking and... That'll work. Now, at this point. Okay, I don't know how that missed. That hit him. I'm not too worried about quick kill with that one, especially now. Not going to get it, but if he's just going to be chilling there at the same lake. That'll speed that up a little. And actually, if I can remember to keep him spotted, I'll have the indicator on the map of where he was. So here's the one we actually uh, kind of care about. Man, that kind of sucks he died in a bush. Oh, can I step that down? All right. So we can't actually get a screenshot, because I noticed his entire horns were actually not buried in the ground, which is nice. So I don't know if that's going to be a gold. I don't think he is a huge four, but he is actually a gold. Actually, 870, that is not bad. Not a huge four, but a pretty good one. 
almost shot too high as well. Like, that is real close to being right above the lung. No wonder I was missing the three then, but that is going to look really cool in the lodge somewhere. Okay, so he died in a bush, and that's probably why I couldn't see him, but of course I picked up tracks on my way to go get the four, which meant I didn't have this guy's spotting icon on the map. You know, it's interesting. They have, like, still the normal color kind of beard. Didn't notice that on the other one. But, I mean, I guess I'll taxidermize this guy. Definitely messed him up a little bit, but he could look cool somewhere. He's still a halfway decent looking albino. But that actually came out really cool. And again, I wish I would have had the albino Grados uh, actually in the video, but it did happen on Twitch. And I guess, like I said, we can pretend with the Southeastern or even the second Bethides one as well. But the only thing I'd really want to improve here is the Ronda, because they can actually look super impressive, and this dude obviously is not. But still, like, overall, that is really, really cool. And actually, I just realized I can turn this. And I'm going to face it that way, because that is actually my quattro room. You can see the... That's what an impressive Ronda should look like. So if I could get an albino looking like that... That could actually be really, really neat. But yeah, I, like I said, I wanted to keep this video short. I've got the Meat Hunters video out to watch if you guys want to see that. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's the channel where my real-life hunting videos go up uh, before they come up on this channel. So yeah, uh, I didn't do a New Year stream yesterday, so Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, I think that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, if you want to watch the Meat Hunters video, there's going to be a link in the description or an on-screen clickable link to the channel here in just a second. But uh, yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.